This is a Fallout 4 contraptions implementation of a very simple combination lock of the kind you might find in an electronics engineering textbook. Conceptually, you set an entry code uh, with a bank of switches, which I'm calling memory switches. They're physically separate from these switches, and then when the input on the two is the same, then the door opens. Um, I tried explaining this by reading from a notes, and it got really difficult to record a video. I'm not really sure how people manage to do these things. Uh, so I'm just going to try and spitball my way through an explanation of the, how this works. Um, the first thing to note is that logic gates in Fallout 4 are completely messed up. Uh, they don't work... I, w I would say they work under certain circumstances like ordinary logic gates, but most of the time they don't. Um, you have to take special measures to make sure they do. This little light here is the powered state. Um, if a logic gate is not powered, uh, let's find... There. If we remove this guy's connection to any form of power, uh, it returns an off state, a zero, as you might imagine. However, this off state is actually handled completely differently to a normal off state. Um, it's ignored by the rest of the circuit. So, for example, if I connected this while uh, the light was off, uh, if I connected that to an OR gate, then uh, the OR gate wouldn't see that. Sorry, if I connected to it to a NOT gate, then the NOT gate just wouldn't see the zero that was being sent to it, and it would just return zero. Um, this makes things quite difficult, because the inputs which you're using to do your control are also the way that you power the circuit. So when you send uh, energy or power down these lines, you also need to you need to do it in such a way that the whole the subsequent logic gates also end up being powered. Um, and the way I do that here is by combining all of these regular inputs with AND gates. Um, that doesn't change the actual input value, but it does make sure that every single line is uh, going to be going to have this like yellow LED powered status. Um, since uh, at least one of the two inputs is always going to be powered. That's the one coming from the mains. Um, as far as this actually works, um, these AND gates reflect directly the state of these switches. When I press a switch, you can actually see the AND gates turn on and off. So educational. Um, then uh, these AND gates go to these ZOR gates. Um, the ZOR gates are return and off signal when the inputs are the same. And the inputs are coming from this bank of AND gates, which is fed by these inputs, and this bank of AND gates, which comes from these inputs. Um, so all of these OR gates are going to be off when both of the inputs are the same. Then we simply use OR gates here to combine the two. So these are going to be on in a case where... Um, the OR gates are going to be on in a case where... Uh, one of the buttons is different um, because uh, one of these won't be off. And then we put a NOR gate here to invert that signal and then we pass it over to the door. Pretty simple. Um, yeah, I think that about wraps it up. It is really stupid and annoying how broken logic gates are in Fallout 4. I mean, you can get things to work, but this is like one of the simplest logic circuits that does anything cool. Um, and it should just be like these. You shouldn't need these gates. You should just have be able to connect these all to one rail and then c connect them to a knot and then an output. Um, but that doesn't work. And additionally, the documentation that you find on this is completely wrong, and most people on the internet who are discussing this don't realize this is how this works. Um, they're doing things like passing inputs through selections of different kinds of gates for some reason. I'm guessing that the person who documented the functionality of logic gates was a different person to the one who programmed them, which is why the functionality and documentation is totally different. Alright. Good luck. Goodbye.